Hello there, YouTubers. Uh, my name is Larry Brown. So today I'm doing a video tutorial on digital Photoshop, digital painting. So right now I'm just going to be basically doing, uh, getting started on this. So this is like a character I created known as Ariel, I would say. And I did this very, very fast. So I'm just actually basically designing the actual, basically, the, the bikini part. So I'm going to show you how a very fast video on how to actually digitally paint this thing very fast. So when I first started off, I actually draw out a large base. It took a large brush and I draw out the, the color lines of this entire thing right here. Just to draw out the color lines of the actual um, bikini with color. And right now I'm just doing rotating on here. So as I go along, I start to kind of digitally paint this thing in a way. And just di digitally paint this very well. So I pl applied down a solid darker color from the, the original tone base of the bikini, as you can see, which is not rocket science, if anyone knows how to do digital painting. And I started applying down dark tones, so that's what I would do first. And then I use basically um, the airbrush and then I just hit the alt key I, I made a couple layers on top you right right here which I just going to show if you can see a couple layers on top I use the alt with the airbrush and then I basically blend the colors together I select a lighter color and just blend with the alt key, key keyboard the alt bl blend with the alt button on the keyboard and I just blend that together and then I lower the capacity up to 20 20, 15, 10. That's where I would lower down the capacity. As you can see, I, I'm finishing up the bikini strings. And I kind of like actually blend on top of layer after layer on top all the time. So I would select different layers on top, make new layers and blend on top. And then once I'm finished all the, the blending of the colors of uh, to get the right shading effect and blending shading effect, I would merge all the layers all together into one compact separate shading layer from the regular colored layer. And then I just blend everything together like this.
And then I do the other thing. I, then I made more layers on top. And then on the second layer on top, I just blend everything together. Lower down the capacity to 35 to 20. And just kind of just blend over the layers on top. And, and just with the all but button, which, which you actually get the point. As you can see here, I actually basically drop down all of the layers and select layer on top of layer to, 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 to actually get the right like blending effect. And then eventually I would merge down all the layers itself to the, this very bottom layer right here. And then I make like different color splashes you can see there, which it has different colors that on um, different layers, three different layers of colors to work with. And then I go over with a darker color to do any s s small little detail shadowing effect, which is um, the, the creases on the bikini of the folds of the bikini. I would use a darker color to, to simulate the, the layer of shading of detail and 3D look of it, I would do. Then I add a darker tone shading basically. So I would basically would um, I would add different dark tones of shading to simulate the different coloring effect of the bikini itself. So I think on this layer, I um, I hit on the top layer on here that says multiply to, to simulate a more darker tone on the, on the shading. So I made a new layer for the darker tone and hit multiply to make the shading more darker in tone fact. So as I actually erase, I actually select this bottom mask where I actually select all of these, like the bikini strings fully maxed out. And then I actually go select this selection and go, go invert. And then I delete the rest of the other outside shading right there with it, with the layer mask itself. I use a small light, like layer shading mask itself on the character itself. And then basically, as you can see, the, the, the final effect, I kind of add lights and highlights to the actual, basically, bikini with the lighter color right here. So I would add lights and it lights and effect. And that's what the final, like, blending layer looks like on top. So it, as you can see, adding all the layers together, 
that's what that's what the these things actually look like with it the effect which this is how you would do like the final shading part right there which I'm going to speed up on this you already seen that then this is how you would add the lighting effect you would take a brush and you would just go over it like this with the lighting effect and sometimes you would use a layer blending mode and hit overlay on top of there on that on that object itself And then that's the final texture of this thing right here itself. So let's see what we have here to do. So guess I'm just going to go in the line, dilly dabbling. Actually, we're going to start working on the gloves now. So when we work on the gloves, we would add a solid color like that. And it's the same process as what we would do on a bikini, in a way. We would just like put down solid color right there. And just use the alt brush. And... Then I use the mask tool to, to, to simulate the, the, the texture right there and get out uh, all of these basically gray tones right there, which I'm just going to kind of speed through that itself. And yeah, we delete all that for the for the, the the glove itself. I guess the gloves on the next tutorial. So, I guess that's it with that. I mean, that's how you. That's the first step for for the tutorial itself for the digital painting tutorial. So I really hope you enjoy this tutorial a lot, and thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. I really hope you really, really like this tutorial a lot. So please subscribe, give me likes, and I hope you enjoy watching more of my tutorials. Thank you. Goodbye.